If you love traveling rural settings, this next story is for you. An encore presentation of a segment we premiered in 2018 here on Farm Week. In this episode, we head to Vicksburg, Mississippi for a soda pop and trip to a pre-Civil War home that's now a haunted restaurant. Here's Zach Ashmore with Off the Highway. Off the Highway, a show where we explore hidden gems all across the state of Mississippi that you ought to know about. I'm your host, Zach Ashmore, and today we're headed to the heart of Vicksburg, Mississippi to check out the Beaton Harn Coca-Cola Museum and the Walnut Hills Restaurant. But first, we're going to meet up with Extension Agent Sandy Havard, and she's going to show us on our way. Miss Sandy Havard, you are the extension agent for Warren County. Tell me, what do you like so much about Warren County and the people of Vicksburg in particular? Well, I really love the people here. Um, they are really great to work with. Um, we have a rich history and culture in Vicksburg, and we have some of the best attractions in the state. And that includes what we're, where we're at now, the Biedenhorn Coca-Cola Museum. That's exactly right. The Biedenhorn Coca-Cola Museum is one of the many attractions here. Miss Nancy Bell runs the museum, and we're going to go meet her right now. Miss Nancy Bell, we are here at the Biedenhorn Coca-Cola Museum here in Vicksburg, Mississippi. What's the history of this place? This is where Coca-Cola was first bottled anywhere in the world in 1894. So this building was built by the Beedenhorns Horns in 1890. Before they started bottling it, they had it as a syrup. It was made in Atlanta, Georgia, 1886 by a pharmacist, but it was only sold at soda fountains. Mr. Beedenhorn, being one of those, would have it in his soda fountain along with a lot of times hundreds of flavors. So people come in, they get a Coca-Cola, but they couldn't take it with them. You even left the glass. They liked it a lot better than they liked um, his flavor, and so they asked, a norm, number of people asked, you know, can't we get Coca-Cola to take with us? Why is it we can only get it here as a glass and have to leave it? So he bottled a case of it. He sent it to Atlanta to ask for permission. And they said, yeah, you can do it if you want to. Won't amount to anything, but if you want to do it, go ahead. <laughs> Little did they know, yes, right? Yes, that's right. Because, of course, <laughs> what they saw were the soda fountains. And soda fountains were the thing of the day. That's where you went. To me, the, most, the, the coolest thing is the reproduction of the bottling works. And then we show you how... You had to fill the bottle, well, you had to wash the bottle first and then you had to fill the bottle. And that filling bottles was a dangerous occupation because if they blew up, you didn't want to get hurt. Yeah, like how thick is that glass? It's like what, like two, oh, three it's millimeters? it's even more than that and in and, and parts of that bottle. It's very, very thick and the top of it has a very thick blob top. So obviously if you got the name blob top, you know it was a really thick top. <laughs> um, but the blob top and then it was sealed with a rubber stopper with a wire that went into it and pushed it down in there. Tradition holds that when you pulled that stopper out, it made a really loud popping noise and that's where we get soda pop from. So you have so many really cool pieces here. Do you have any ones that are your personal favorite? My favorite things are the, the little miniature um, uh, dispensers, you know, as, as in, you know, Coke bottle dispensers. Because if you were a salesperson going to, you know, someone to say, okay, well, this is a great um, bottle dispenser, you know, you couldn't take it with you. You couldn't take the big thing. So they made little tiny ones. And so we've got some of those. And then, of course, all the Santa Claus to me is, is fascinating as well. And um, it's fun. And it all started right here in Vicksburg, Mississippi. It's at least the bottling part. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. By this scene, I heard that you know more about this place than anybody else who works here. Why is that? Because I've been here the longest. <laughs> how, how long have you been working here? I've been working here 38 years. <laughs> a long time. What have you seen? What, what can you tell me about this place? Oh my God. What have I seen? Or what haven't I seen? How about a little bit of both? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen them come and go. The first owner was Kim Ferris. She owned it and she sold to Joyce about 20 some years ago. Joyce asked me would I stay on with her. So there you are. Yeah, I am. I was told that you're uh, 
fried chicken has won awards. It has. And you know what? People think we do a big deal to that fried chicken, but the fried chicken is only washed, seasoned with red pepper and salt and put in the flour and drop it in the defect fry. So I'm guessing the, uh, the actual secret to it is it's fresh. Right. So what can you tell me about the Walnut Hills restaurant itself? Like, how long has this restaurant been here? This restaurant been here 38 years. So what was this place before it was, before it was a restaurant? It was a house. People lived, a lady lived here. She loved the glazed carrots we fixed, and she would call and order glazed carrots. But I'm going to tell you a little secret. When we first started in this restaurant here, I came to work one morning, I got out right down there, and I was gonna walk up the hill. So I saw this lady in this blue evening dress standing in this one right here. I, come I came back down to look to see where she still there. Where she was, but by the time I got inside, she had gone. Oh, you saw a ghost. But she's a friendly ghost. She was so pretty, she was a pretty lady. She was beautiful. What would you say to somebody who's interested in checking out this place? Well, I'd tell them to come on. This is one of the places you should visit before you leave this world. <laughs> that's, that's, great. that's all the thing I can tell you. It's one of the places you should visit. You should come to Walnut Hills and you won't be unhappy. You will be happy when you leave. Cheers to that. All right, then. Okay. Vicksburg is a truly historical town, and you learn something new every time you go there. I highly recommend that you check it out. Well, that's it for this week. But if you know of any places that are off the highway, send me a line. Who knows? Maybe I'll be off the highway next time in your hometown. Until then, take care. Zach's right, there really is a lot of history in Vicksburg, and that food at Walnut Hills looks pretty tasty, too.